a lot of the times what happens is that in the manifestation process, you're about to manifest something big, but right before everything begins to slow down. Your manifestation process involves sometimes reality falling apart externally. And we don't see it in the moment, but a lot of the times it can be exactly what is meant to happen in order for that manifestation that you desire to come into fruition. So these things falling apart in your external are happening perhaps for a reason. And in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to trust that your manifestation is still coming, how to trust that your manifestation is coming even when things are falling apart in the external world, when reality is falling apart. How to know that your manifestation is coming even when reality is falling apart. So if you're new to this channel, what I want you to do is I want you to hit that subscribe button. I want you to hit that notification bell because I do post a new video every single day. Also, if you want to work with me one on one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. So here's the thing. The first thing you can do is understand that when you're about to actually manifest something different, when you're about to create a new reality, what happens is that it's almost like your old subconscious patterns are going to come up to the surface and almost try to pull you back into the old reality. Like that's what's really happening. All these old things that you knew, all these old identities that you were attached to, it's like you can view it almost in a way where it's almost like the universe is almost testing you. But it's not that the universe is testing you because from one perspective, there really is no universe out there. And uh, I think that depending on the way that you look at it, there is a universe out there. But from another perspective, it's like you are the universe, right? Like it's not like it's not like here I am and then there's the universe. It's like, no, I, even if we're talking about just I as consciousness or just my human body, either one is the universe. And so it's interesting because what happens is that it's almost like the universe is going to test you, but it's not really the universe. It's actually your own subconscious patterns coming back to the surface. Let me give an example. You're about to manifest uh, a lot of money. You want to manifest something in your business, right? And then all of a sudden business starts to plummet. Things start to go down, but you were doing really well before. Maybe you even thought that the next month was going to be even more powerful than the previous month. And out of nowhere, things slow down. Now in that moment, are you going to actually feed into what the external world is trying to feed you? Or are you going to stay grounded in your internal energy and understand that the external world does not have to define your belief in the manifestation process? You see, this is the key. This is where a lot of people go wrong because reality starts to fall apart things start to go apart and then instead of trusting that the manifestation is still coming, instead of trusting in who you truly are, instead of trusting that the manifestation is still in fact on its way, what happens is that you start to doubt, you start to feel anxieties, you start to feel worries, you start to feel uncomfortable. But then if you can have it within you to stay grounded in your energy and understand that life is always going to be a polarity of pushing your energy out and then you're going to manifest, manifest, manifest. And it's like, hey, wait a second. Now life is telling you to take some breathing room, take some breathing room. You've been working so hard. You've been manifesting. You've been taking all these steps that you got to take and say, hey, the universe is asking you to just trust the process and trust that if you just relax, if you take this opportunity to go within yourself and stop hustling so hard and just trust that even when all these things are happening in the external world that appear to be showing you that your manifestation is not coming, no, it's actually part of the manifestation process. And so there's two things that can happen. Either you fall into the old subconscious patterns and you fall back into the old subconscious ego or you reframe the situation and you see it for what it truly is, which is, I think that's truly what's happening. Or it could just be the story in my mind that I'm creating. Either way, it's still going to help you to manifest and help you to trust more. Two things can happen. Either you get dominated by the previous story 
that has been controlling your life for however many years, or you let go of the old story and you stay firm in the belief, in the assumption, and the internal energy, the, not just the assumptions in the belief, but in the state of being. Now, if it's hard for you to have a good state of being, that's okay too. Persist in at least the belief and the assumption. Now, it's interesting because it's almost going to be a test. Either you can go back into the old patterns or you can believe and know and trust and stay grounded in your energy and know that the manifestation is coming out of the way. Do not fail the test. Is it the universe testing you? Maybe. Is it your old subconscious mind testing you? Probably. Is it the old patterns coming up trying to deceive you? Most likely. Whatever it is, don't fail. Don't fail the test. Pass the test by grounding your energy and persisting in the assumption that what you want is going to come either way, no matter what is happening in the external world. Because the people that failed this test are the ones that don't manifest. But the people that stay persistent in what they know to be true in their own minds, not in the external, are the ones that end up creating the reality that they truly desire. Now, the second thing I want you to share with you that I want to share with you in regards to how to actually trust that the manifestation coming, even when reality, external reality is in fact falling apart. You know, you're losing this, you're losing money, you're losing friends, you're losing people, things are falling apart. How can you stay in that, that trusting energy? What you got to do is keep assuming that the external world means absolutely nothing. It does not matter. If you're trying to manifest money and you start to lose a lot of money in your bank account, things start to fall apart, it doesn't matter. It does not matter. I know that it can be scary when you start to lose money, but it's like that fear is the subconscious pattern coming up to the surface. Don't let the fear consume you. Because if you let that fear consume you, it's like, oh my gosh, I'm, I was going to manifest money. And now all of a sudden, you know, I'm losing this. I'm losing these people. I'm losing these opportunities. How do you know that the universe is not setting you up for the manifestation that you set the intention for? How do you know? Why not just assume that it's part of the process? Because here's the thing. If you assume that you not having money in your bank account and you losing this friend or you losing this job or you losing this situation means that you're not going to get the money that you intended for, that assumption is going to block your manifestations. But if you assume that it has nothing, that the, what's happening in the external has nothing to do with you manifesting that money that you desire, those are the people that manifest. You see the difference? It's like your assumptions will create your reality. So you need to get grounded in a state where, <coughs> where, excuse me, you stop caring what happens in the external. Assume that the external means nothing. It's like, oh, I didn't manifest that house yet. Okay, it doesn't matter. It just assume. Assume it's like, oh, this friend didn't message me back. Doesn't matter. They're still gonna message me back because they like me. Or it's like, oh, I didn't I didn't manifest this this money, this situation, this friend, this apartment, this house, this this opportunity. It doesn't matter. Nothing in the external matters. When you can start to understand that nothing in the external has to define your internal energy and your state of peace and your groundedness in the present moment and your belief and your assumption and your confidence and your conviction that you have within yourself, if you can assume and stay in that energy, what happens is that you're going to manifest everything you desire. And those are the people that manifest. You see, the ones that manifest are the ones that have an unwavering faith. That's how they call it in the book called Think and Grow Rich. What they talk about in that book is they talk about having an unwavering faith where it doesn't matter what happens in the external, but you just trust that it's going to happen. Now, is it the universe that brings you that manifestation because you trust it? Or is it your trust because you are the universe that brings it to you because of your assumptions? It could be a little bit of both. Either way, don't give away your power to the external universe and the external world. Keep persistent in your ability to create the reality that you want. You see what I'm saying? It's like you could think it's the universe, but 
when you have that trust and you have that knowing that it's coming, was it the universe or was it you? Was it you that trusted? That's what I'm really realizing in my life. A lot of moments I trusted the universe, then I realized, wait a second, actually I trusted myself because I assumed it would work out, then it did. Now, who knows? Maybe there are some external things happening in this world that are very mystical, esoteric synchronicities, guides, things grounding you in this moment, bringing you closer to your goals. Absolutely, I know those things to be true in my reality, but still, this is about trusting yourself. This is about trusting that no matter what happens in the external, you still are going to create the thing that you want. And this is what allows you to actually manifest because this is the confidence that you need to sort of not block out the external, still be in the external, be with it fully, don't resist it, but just accept that it's happening and choose that it doesn't have to define whether your manifestation is coming or not. It does not have to define whether your manifestation is coming or not. I'm gonna say that one more time. Your external world does not have to define whether your manifestation is coming or not. Now, the third thing I wanna share with you in regards to this video and how to trust that your manifestation is coming when reality is falling apart is to understand that, yes, your external world doesn't matter. So what does matter? If the external world doesn't matter, what matters more is your internal state of being, your internal alignment, your spiritual alignment, the connection that you have to the present moment, to yourself, to a state of thoughtlessness and conviction. Because here's the thing, stories are great and assumptions are great, but if you can get to a state of being where you're totally grounded in the present moment and you don't attach to any story whatsoever, what happens is that you're automatically gonna trust the universe more. You're gonna trust yourself more. You have the ability to actually focus not on the external, but actually your internal. And then when you can ground your energy in the internal and not be so attached to the external, what happens is that now the external starts to fall into place. Not right away, maybe reality is gonna fall apart, but if you can stay grounded in your internal energy, regardless of what happens in the external, eventually reality will reflect itself back to you in the way that your soul and your body and your mind and your spirit wants to, wants it to. So the key is to understand that it is your internal state that the, that's the most important thing here. The most important thing here is your internal state of being. It will always be reflected back to you, but the most important thing is just don't allow the external to control your life. If you keep feeding into the external world, you're just feeding into your own past. That's all you're doing. You're letting your own subconscious mind and your previous experiences define how your experience has to go in this present moment. What if you were to decide how reality is gonna go, not your old subconscious programming? And the way that you do this is by grounding yourself internally and realizing that the external is not as important as the internal alignment that you have and the assumptions that you have and the beliefs that you have and the confidence that you have and the peace that you have and the connection to the present moment that you have. When I have things fall apart in the external, here's what I do. I allow it to be there, I accept it, and then I go deeper into myself, into the present moment, into my meditations, and I just know that it's part of the process. Now. Is it actually part of the process and that's how manifestation is? Or is it me reframing the situation and seeing it in that way that actually then creates the reality because of the assumption? Whichever the case is, does it matter? Absolutely not, because both of those lead to the same result, which is you trusting yourself regardless of what's happening in the external world. So understand that if you wanna manifest something and reality is falling apart, let it fall apart. Turn it into a game. It's like, I can take on this challenge, universe. I can take on this challenge. Like honestly, right now in my life, things are slowing down in the external, but it doesn't matter to me because I feel more peaceful than I felt in a while. I feel more grounded than I felt in a while. And I know that the next chapter of my life personally is gonna explode because of this phase in my life where things are actually slowing down. And I'm learning that reality is just back and forth of things slowing down. Now, is reality truly a back and forth polarity of things coming out into the external and then you go back into the external, into the internal? Yes. 
Is it also me assuming that this internal pull into myself is going to lead into the external and that assumption is actually creating my reality? Yes. Why not merge the two together? The, the, uh, the universal truths that we all are connected to and also the assumptions that we can create about reality in our, and how things are going to actually manifest in the external. If you can merge these things together, you're going to manifest everything that you want. You're going to manifest everything that you want. If you can learn to stay grounded in your energy in whatever way you can, for me it's meditations, it's letting life fall apart, it's letting life fall apart, grounding deeper into the present moment and trusting that it's going to happen in the way that I want anyways. If you can have it within your soul, within your being to stay grounded, even when these things aren't working out in the external, that is going to be like the rite of passage. It's the permission slip. The, uh, the universe is almost going to be like, okay, okay, this person is serious. They really do trust themselves. And it's not like that's how the universe actually is, although I guess it could be, but it's almost like you're passing the tests of your own subconscious. You see what I'm saying? It's like you're passing, you're letting go of the old story and then the old story is like, oh, okay, I guess we gotta go. It goes away and then the new story comes in and now it's like you're becoming a container to then receive the things that you truly wanna manifest. And so this is the key. If you can master staying grounded even when the external reality is falling apart, you are going to manifest everything that you truly desire. So that's all I have for this video. Once again, if you want to work with me one-on-one -on -one personally, hit the link that's in the description box of this video to apply for a free consultation. And as always, have yourself a great day and I'll see you in the next video.